hi guys welcome to my channel so um, today um, we're just doing some cooking so I'm just gonna show you the ingredients that I'm cooking so these are ingredients these bits have been picked from the garden so as you know we do farming so we we'll just pick these from the garden so over here I've got some red cabbage yeah have you guys ever tried red cabbage like it's so good but this is almost we're running out of the red cabbage now so it's almost finishing but yeah you can even cook um, white cabbage if you like so and then here so I've got some um, chopped onions okay so I like to chop everything beforehand so here's some chopped onions here that I've got ready to go and then I've got some, some sweet peppers here also chopped up ready to go I normally use a dicer guys so if I've, if I've got a lot of like things to chop up I'll normally just use a dicer so there you go and then here I've got garlic here also ready to go for the meal um, and then I've got some pureed tomatoes here again we just put them in the blender guys and then um, this is what comes out and I've got some carrots again from the garden okay we planted some carrots don't know if you've seen my other video of the farm where I'm showing the bits that we um, I planted the in the garden and then um, here I've got the seasoning um, it's just a mixture of seasoning guys so I just blend, uh, mix it up myself just to make a different um, you know so I can't even tell you exactly what I've put in there but it's just a mixture of different seasonings and then obviously I've got the salt at the back and the cooking oil at the back and then here guys I've got my um, aubergines okay so um, also ready to go for today's meal so I'm just trying to make dinner guys and then here I've got some cauliflower again for all these ingredients guys or all these vegetables are from the garden so just ready now to cook so I'm gonna come and show you when um, the bin the beans is boiling um, it's bo just finished boiling in the pressure cooker so some of these things are gonna be fried and put in the beans so I'm gonna come and show you when it's time to do that and also I'm preparing the meat when I marinate the meat I will show you but this is the beginning this is the most important uh, bit guys where you do all this you chop up everything the base yeah so it's all done guys um, uh, just now it's now just starting to fry everything and cook everything and put everything together and make it into a meal all right guys I'll show you everything in a bit I'll come back again to show you more all right guys you have a good one. hi guys so we're back again I'm just gonna show you a few other bits that I'm doing right now so remember I said that I had beans so this is my beans which I boiled in the pressure cooker for about an hour all these um, um, the beans is also picked from the garden guys so um, yeah that's the amazing thing of having a farm isn't it you don't have to buy um, all these vegetables you just grow them on your farm so that's the beans so now what's awaiting for this beans is that I'm gonna fry all the um, onions tomatoes um, and um, you know peppers and stuff like that and then I'm gonna pour it into the beans add some spices as well so that's gonna be yummy guys and then here over here guys it's really hot and steamy but I've got um, the carrots cooking here so I'm just gonna cook the carrots for about 10 minutes guys just because they're a bit um, they just make them tender and then what I'm gonna do is then I'm gonna add in my aubergines and then obviously um, some oil some spices and stuff like that guys so that's gonna taste yummy as well guys and then over here guys um, we've got the meat okay so we've got a chicken wings here um, we do have chickens on our farm so these are the wings you know I mean from the chicken so um, this this um, um, chicken wings have been marinated as you can see they've been marinated and they were put in the uh, fridge overnight so this is what well, sorry guys I can't really tell you the spices but it's just a mixture of spices yeah so you know work with whatever spices you've got you know what I mean and just marinate it I suggest to marinate it overnight guys if not overnight if you're in a hurry then at least an hour okay so it's just the, the, so that the, um, the chicken really takes on the flavor of the spices guys so that's that and that's gonna be 
deep fried you know um late i'll come and show you when i'm doing the deep frying of the chicken but yeah so i've got that um cooking there it's almost done i'm gonna add um the aubergines and the other bits of vegetables some oil some spices and then obviously like i said the beans is over there as well i'm gonna um it's cook it's, it's just um uh, ready to add the other bits it's been it's been cooked in the pressure cooker already so it's just ready for the onions tomatoes um spices oil and all that good stuff guys so yeah so that's that guys i'll come back to show you a bit more again as i go yeah i'm just taking bits and then showing you as i go along all right guys enjoy hi guys so we're back again okay so i'm now doing the preparations um as the frying for uh frying of the onions and all the other ingredients that i showed you um before getting fried for um my cabbage so that's for my red cabbage so that's the onions frying when they get to um a little bit more cooked i'll add in my other stuff which is my peppers my um, um my tomatoes and then um some spices and then um that will be ready for the red cabbage okay and then next guys i've got here i showed you the beans earlier so this is what i'm frying the onions i'm frying um for my uh, my, my beans uh, which I cooked in the pressure cooker so here now um, I'm just ready to add in the other bits guys um, so the peppers the tomatoes uh, um, spices or oh, before that I'll also add in the, the garlic before I start adding the other bits so that's that guys that's for my beans and then over here guys I've got um, my onions frying on this pan for um, and this one is for my aubergines my carrots that i bought earlier yeah and my um cauliflower guys so i'm gonna do a mixture of those three in here guys so that's after i've fried in the tomatoes and stuff so these are the carrots that i um i bought earlier when i showed you yeah they're gonna go into here with the aubergines and also the um cauliflower so guys um i'm gonna get help now um to add in the other bits yeah so just getting help you can see the onions here um get going a bit golden brown so they're ready for we're adding in um some uh, peppers chopped peppers guys so going in there so just going it there guys so that's that we're moving on to this one guys it's all similar yeah the bits that go into it it's a similar uh, thing so hence i'm just showing this part now this is uh peppers again in here okay so you fry the onions first guys and then you then put in the chopped peppers yeah so these are red and green peppers uh, i think i i, I chopped a, a yellow one as well um but they're going in there as well so after the onions have cooked a bit and then the next one guys is here um this one is for the uh, cabbage the red cabbage again the same thing so putting in the peppers and gonna cook those for a bit after that guys i'm gonna add in in all three i'm gonna start adding in the tomato puree now guys yeah so just cook it for about a couple minutes and then i'll be ready to add in the tomato puree and then the spices will go in i'll show you when i'm adding in the spices as well guys but look at that that's gonna be yummy guys you can tell already that's gonna taste delicious but yeah so that's that guys i'll be back when i'm adding in the tomatoes or when i've added in the tomatoes you don't need to see me adding in the tomatoes guys tomato puree so i'll just show you when i've added it in and then cooked it in uh, cooked it for a bit and when i'm adding in the vegetables and the beans then i'll come back to show you guys but yeah that's that and the garlic is going to be added in in a bit now guys all right guys it's gonna be um okay yummy. guys so this one is for the carrots everything has been added now guys so the onions the garlic the peppers the tomatoes all has been added to to this and now it's ready for the carrots which we're going to start with okay so that's the carrots being added to it guys okay so remember those carrots were boiled for about um 10 minutes guys to so just soften them so i'm just adding them to 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 this now to the sauce here 
guys it smells amazing guys the spices oh if you were here guys it smells so good so it smells literally as good as it looks like it's delicious all right guys so that's the one for my beans yeah so that's again everything we added to it onions garlic tomatoes peppers uh, it's been fried it's ready for the beans to go into it the spices guys the mixture of spices which is so delicious guys we just we just um, mix our own spices and then over here guys I've got the same thing guys the same process guys yeah the same ingredients that have been added to this one as well and so it's just been fried now um, I'm ready for my um, cabbage guys yeah so my red cabbage so all is ready guys so now uh, so the carrots have been added to here and the next one that's going here is a cauliflower guys so here is a cauliflower going into there okay so we're gonna just cook the cauliflower in there the aubergines are gonna be the last guys because the aubergines are so soft isn't it so you don't want to overcook them yeah so they're the last to go into into this um, um, yeah into all this the sauce and everything so the cauliflower gonna cook for a bit and then the aubergines will be added lastly so that's that guys look at that yummy food look at that delicious okay guys so I'm gonna put a lid on this yeah so it just keeps on steaming just to keep the steam in so it can cook for a bit longer and now we're here guys so now I'm gonna add the beans to this yeah remember the beans was um, cooked in the pressure cooker guys so now I'm just gonna add the beans to it guys so I'm just gonna um, I'm gonna I'm gonna add the beans here so this is the beans being added to it guys oh delicious guys look at that look at that guys look at that okay so that's really good guys so it's been it's all been just um, mixed in now guys okay All right, guys. So next, next is gonna be. So it's just gonna. We're gonna let it cook for a bit, All right, guys? Just let it cook for a bit. So yeah, beans has been added to it. I'm just gonna let it cook for a bit together, so everything just blends in together. Okay, for so maybe another 10, 15 minutes, and then we'll be ready. And now, guys, this one will be next. Yeah, where we're gonna add the cabbage guys so look at that it looks yummy ready for the cabbage red cabbage guys to be added to that have you ever tried red cabbage guys let me know in the comments it's so yummy okay so I'm gonna add the red cabbage to that okay so red cabbage been added okay so you just you know because it's all gonna sh shrink guys go go um <laughs> be like a little bit at the bottom when it's all cooked yeah so just adding that to there in the meantime i'll just show you this which is cooking here it's so much steam all over it should soon be ready for um the aubergine so that's there red cabbage been added Okay, so just gonna put a lid on it and let it steam a bit. So, it sh and then now this is this, guys. Oh, the steam, guys. <laughs> so, look at that. Looks delicious, guys. It smells so good. So, so good. So, I'm visiting, guys. Yeah, so I'm sure you can tell from the voice that oh the person filming this time is different so it's my channel um and also with my um my my cousin okay so um so i'm visiting um zambia um i normally come to england but i'm visiting zambia at the moment so i just brought some stuff and um, um, one or two stuff, especially the spices, guys. Some of them I brought with me, and I'm just cooking a meal for everyone. So it's gonna taste yummy, guys. It's gonna taste absolutely yummy. So yeah, that's that, guys. So yeah, 
all right i'll come back again in a bit guys. hi guys so i'm back again to show you this stage so now the beans is cooked you can see it looks good yummy so it's got all those things that we added into it and it's all cooked together it's been cooking for about 10 minutes yeah it's ready to eat guys so now we're just gonna I'm just gonna leave it on a low heat just so it stays warm um, whilst I cook the other bits guys and then here um, I've added the aubergines guys so this is how it looks so here we got um, the carrots in there the um, cauliflower and then the aubergines have been added in there as well guys so look at it. it looks yummy doesn't it so yeah so and then over here guys is my red cabbage it's cooked as well look at how it looks guys it's gonna taste so good so that's the red cabbage with all the other bits that we added um that were fried in the beginning guys so and then over here guys i've got my oil just waiting for it to get hot and then i'm gonna do um my chicken wings guys remember i showed you um chicken wings that were marinated and i'd left to um um in the uh, fridge overnight so i'm gonna fry them in here guys so i'm just um i'm gonna show you when i start frying them guys so just waiting for the oil to, to get hot so this is all it all of it guys again so that's your cabbage yeah and that's the aubergines uh carrots and cauliflower in here and then over here we got the beans guys look at that oh it's gonna taste so good guys so it's the beans beans is ready all these um, um the beans and the aubergines and um the cabbage all these three are ready guys so now i'm just gonna do the chicken and then um i'm gonna cook um the um, and shema and then we'll be good all right guys so that's that okay guys so remember i said earlier that i was gonna do it um, and shema i've changed my mind guys i'm doing rice so i've just put rice in the um, um rice cooker it's here it's not even started cooking yet guys i've just washed it and put it in there so thoroughly wash the rice as you do and then it's in the pressure cooker and it's gonna start cooking and then um over here guys i've got the the chicken okay so the chicken that i'm gonna be frying in a bit so um marinated chicken and then i've dipped it into um i mixed uh, some flour and corn flour and then put some spices into that more spices and then um dip the, the chicken into there guys so it's ready now to um fry in this oil over here guys yeah so that's where the chicken is going to be fried so yeah so it's all um, it's it's all coming together now guys it's almost there yeah so chicken will be fried in that oil over here i'll show you when i start putting the chicken in the oil so i'm just it i, I made the oil a bit too hot so i'm just waiting for it to cool down a bit guys because obviously you want the chicken to cook inside as well not just on the outside to quickly go brown no we don't want that want to make sure it's fully cooked inside as well so um we don't want to get salmonella <laughs> salmonella so um yeah so guys that's that so we're just now waiting for that to cool down a bit and then i'll be ready to put in the chicken which i'm gonna show you all right guys so um i'll see you in a bit all right guys so i'm just about to start putting my chicken into my oil now so there we go guys okay so i'm just gonna add chicken to that so remember these are chicken wings guys they were marinated yeah for um so marinated for um the whole night okay in spices a lot of different spices and then um i've dipped them into flour a mixture of flour and, and corn flour and then it's got some spice the flour and corn flour for some spice in it and so and and then yeah and then now we just dip frying them guys oh the oil guys i'm so scared so i'm being helped so i'm just holding the camera here because this part i don't like doing that so i'm just gonna leave it to fry for about um five to ten minutes yeah um 15 minutes guys 
I'm just being told by my um, <laughs> by the person helping me cook here, guys, that um, about 15 minutes. This part I don't do, guys, because I don't like hot oil, like a lot of hot oil. It scares me. So, yeah, it's just frying, guys. Um, when it fries for a bit, we'll take it out, um, let it cool, and then put it back in again, guys, so that it's fully fried inside. So, you know, when you're frying chicken, you've got to make sure it's fully cooked. So, yeah that's the chicken frying in there guys it's already turning brown brownish or golden brown so i'm just waiting for it to um do a bit more gonna turn it yeah just gonna show you as i turn it guys okay and then um yeah so just turning it you can see quite brown okay Just cooking guys slowly yeah just frying it slowly we're gonna reduce the heat so that way it cook, cooks a bit slower so that's that guys so I will show you I'll come and show you a bit more again um, when it's on the plate and when I'm, I'm you know when I've taken that bit that one out and put it on the plate I'll come and show you and when I put in a bit more I'll come and show you but guys it's just a reputation of um, you know repeating the same process here of just when it's cooked you take it out you put more and um, that's that to that one guys but um it smells so good all right guys i'll be back in a bit when i put it on the plate yeah i'll show you what it looks like all right guys hi guys so i'm back this is 20 minutes later yeah the chicken has been cooking for about 20 minutes you saw me put it in so um put it in the pot in the in sorry guys in the oil so now um we're gonna take it out yeah so there we go guys I'm just taking it out i'm gonna put it on the plate look at that guys look at that up close guys it looks good doesn't it okay so i'm just gonna put it on the plate here we go guys so that's the chicken yeah so you're just gonna see me put in some more guys okay so so cooking, because you, you can see now, guys, that the oil has been, um, the heat has been reduced. The oil is not as hot as when I just put in the first time, guys. So it's cooking on a slow heat, and it's cooking for about 20 minutes, guys. So it's fully cooked inside, okay, before it's um, taken out. So it's the second lot being put in, okay. The first lot has just come out after 20 minutes of cooking. So there we go guys, so this is going to cook again for another 20 minutes and then um, we'll take it out, um, it will be cooked and it will be same as this one here guys. And then over here guys, my rice is cooking, as you can see, I won't be able to open the rice cooker because I don't want to um, mess with it. Yeah. So it's still cooking guys, you can see it's still cooking. Alright, so let's go back to here to the chicken which is frying and um, yeah looking good guys what you think let me know in the comments what you think about this meal guys um what you think would you cook something like this let me know guys i want to hear from you guys but I, I, um just um believe me when i say it's gonna taste yummy guys because the spices and everything oh it smells so good guys so it's gonna taste really yummy but let me know would you try something like this or are you gonna try it out and see um you know how uh, how um how it comes together how you cook this meal but um you know spices just you know play around with the spices and um, put what you like you know what i mean with the spices i can't really say which, uh, which spices but just say which ones you like but um yeah but this is this is that guy so i'm just gonna pause it for a bit again and then i'll be back guys. Hey guys so i'm back for a little bit i just wanted to say you know when i say the spices just make it up what i'm gonna do guys um you know um i showed you earlier the mixture um uh, mixed spices yeah so what i'm gonna do is in my description box i'm gonna write down all the spices that i mixed guys and then so you know exactly what spices i've cooked with and if you've got them you can use them as well guys but i will do that for you guys because i want you guys to um try and cook something like this and really enjoy it guys so i will do that in this in the description box make sure you go down and check it out guys and literally try this food out guys you're gonna love it 
so yeah so now when I come back guys I would have plated it okay and ready to eat so this is my dinner guys and my family so when I come back it will be it's it will be on the plate and then ready to eat all right guys enjoy the video guys hopefully you're enjoying it and yeah keep watching and liking comment guys leave me a lot of comments I want to know what you think about this meal guys all right guys bye for now all right guys so some of the, the food is still cooking so we still got um, the last portion of the of the chicken to fry but I started dishing out the food I'm just gonna show you um, what the food looks like yeah but first let me just show you this the aubergines again so that's that guys okay it's cooked and that's the cabbage yeah these two cook for about five to ten minutes guys so not too much and that's the last portion of the chicken being fried guys and then over here we've got the beans which is also cooked okay guys and now I'm just going to show you um, the plated food guys so this is it it's been plated and this this is what it looks like guys what do you think so you've got the fried chicken there free bits of fried chicken wings rice on the side the aubergines on that side and then we've got the red cabbage in the middle and then the beans so that's plate for one of the family members yeah it's been plated so now the food has been plated i just wanted to show you what it looks like guys there you go yummy 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 tell me what you think guys in the comments guys let me know what you think about this video and if you will try this meal out guys let me know remember i'm gonna add the spices yeah the names of the spices in the description box because remember i just showed you a concoction of uh, my spice mix so i'm gonna let you know all the spices that i mix all right guys please let me know what you think about this video please don't forget to like comment guys and please um keep on following me guys keep on subscribing to my channel and keep on sharing my videos with your family members guys so you can help me grow the channel i appreciate all my returning subscribers guys and for all those who are new please subscribe guys all right guys stay blessed until next time i'll see you then bye guys okay guys so this is a fried chicken yeah after we've eaten some of it this is the one that has remained but yeah this is it guys it's all been fried now so it's just a bit that has remained after having our dinner i think there's one more person to have dinner because they're out they've not come in yet so um they're gonna come and have their dinner when they come back in but yeah this is it guys what do you think